Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Slurry Perfume Review. So today, I'm happy to be bringing you guys my review of Jimmy Choo Stars 2015. This fragrance was launched obviously last year, 2015, and it was a limited edition spin-off to the original Jimmy Choo. And last year, 20, er, in 2014, they released tw uh, it for the first time as Jimmy Choo Stars. Re-released it last year as Jimmy Choo Stars 2015 edition. So, speaking of last year's model, they did not make an ad for this year's model, so here's last year's model. The bottle looks like this this year, and is more of a purple and silver gradient instead of this kind of gold gradient that's back here. So, this is a little bit of a different fragrance from something I reviewed before. And I'm reviewing this mostly because you guys have asked me to do this a lot, especially in 2014 when Jimmy Choo... Stars first got released because you guys were like, oh, Stars Among the Stars, you guys should review it. So, definitely am reviewing it now for you guys. So, like my previous review of um, Shakira's Love Rock, this fragrance review is brought to you guys by U.S. Fragrance Club. U.S. Fragrance Club is a discounted perfume retailer online, 100% accredited. All their perfumes are authentic and 100% real. They sell you perfumes at a discounted rate. Um, most times the perfumes are cheaper than you can find them on eBay or TJ Maxx. Um, I know that they're selling this fragrance currently for around $50. When this fragrance was released, it was $90 something dollars. They have things like uh, YLS Black Opium, where you can get that for roughly $80 for a full-size bottle versus $111 that it sells in stores. Definitely a great way to look at fragrances if you're in the market for a new fragrance, in the market for refilling a bottle that you already have, such as Tim Glare Angel, Alien, stuff like that. Definitely check out them. They might be able to get it for you at a discounted rate versus the high price that you'd pay in store for it. So this fragrance is, like I said, a little bit different from what I'd normally done. And I had the notes pulled up until I got rid of them. Okay, sorry. So, notes of this fragrance. Top notes are pear and candied orange. Middle notes are toffee. Um, sorry, middle notes are orchid. Base notes are coffee and vanilla. Um, definitely when I first smelled this fragrance, I thought about getting it, um, but never really picked it up, and I'm not sure why. When you first spray this, I definitely get the pear and the candied orange. And I like to say that it, I like that it is a candied orange that is listed as a note because it's not super orangey or citrusy. But I also feel like that pear kind of adds a crispness to the opening. And the candied orange adds um, a sweetness to it. But definitely that toffee note is the standout note of this entire fragrance. Um, as it, it kind of comes through. When it starts to dry down a little bit, you get the orchid. You get that kind of like slightly... Um, posh, per, like, floral note in the middle. That's really, really nice and really kind of elegant. Um, makes it so it's not like a sticky, sweet, 15-year-old's candy perfume. Um, as it dries down, definitely you get that vanilla, you get the toffee. They kind of come together and create this really rich, caramel, um, decadent fragrance with the candied orange and that orchid and everything is still kind of there. Those top and middle notes never really go away. They kind of just come into the base and create this um, almost expensive toffee like if you were to go to like a French pastry this like really rich expensive toffee that you would get. Definitely kind of a warmer stickier sweet fragrance but it's not a 15 year old fragrance. This is definitely something I would see um a mom wearing a younger mom, some somebody who wants to feel elegant and mature, um, but doesn't want to go as far as those powdery, softer florals. So this is definitely kind of an elegant, warm fragrance. Definitely perfect for going out. I feel like it's a perfect transition scent. Something you could spray on you in the in the day and go out on a Friday night, and it still you may just have to spritz it up once or twice. Lasting power, I got about. 8 hour, eight to 12 hours on this. Um, I did spray it on my wrist and could still smell it slightly the next morning. Um, projection, it stays somewhat close to the skin, but is noticeable enough that people have asked me what I'm wearing when I've worn it. Um, but Jimmy Choo does kind of have that aspect on people. They're very alluring fragrances, and I love that about Jimmy Choo. Um, his fragrances aren't, like, they, they don't 
they're not out of the box, they're not groundbreaking, but there's something about them that's just slightly different that nobody has done yet. So, definitely kind of a more, I think, fall and spring and wintertime fragrance. It definitely could be a signature scent and transfer all year round, but I definitely feel like this is more for the warmer, or the colder climate. So, there you guys go. There is my review of um, Jimmy Choo Stars. Like I said, go ahead and check out U.S. Fragrance Club. Link to them is in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Look, links are in the description below, and have a great day, guys. Bye.